what is up everyone welcome back to the channel uh last weekend i had the privilege to go to outside lands in san francisco if you guys did not know i am a touring music photographer and so i uh i'm able to take my cameras to a lot of these concerts and events that i get to go to uh last weekend green day was performing so we flew out from portland oregon went down to surprise the green day team i had not seen them since my accident which was almost a year this week which i was out on tour with green day when my accident happened so it was kind of like a real wholesome come full circle moment um was able to fly down there actually get to the concert watch a live show be at a festival for the first time in over a year and i took my film camera i took my olympus style zoom and i haven't actually shot this camera at a concert before so i was kind of nervous to bring it but had a flash it was a point and shoot it was super tiny and it fit in my pocket and I wanted to try it out so i brought it down there and i was able to shoot some photos and i want to go through those photos with you guys i used portra 160 and shot literally just one roll of film which was like really satisfying to just kind of hang out and take in the concert but also have this camera that i can kind of just pick up point and shoot i mean that's the that's the benefit of using a point and shoot camera so that's why um that's why i took this so let's go through some of these photos i'm going to talk about a little bit of the story behind them and um yeah so to start off this roll of film we have the actual trip down there. So I took some pictures in the airport on the way down to San Francisco. Uh, these photos aren't anything super exciting. It was really just me and Stephanie at the airport. Stephanie drinking um, Starbucks coffee. Uh, and honestly, I really like the way this photo turned out. It's, it's gonna be weird to say this, but this being the first photo on the roll, it actually might be my favorite photo on the whole roll, which is really ironic. It's just like a cool photo. It hit focus. The flash is really cool. It gives like this nice tone and Portrait 160 is like a really good uh, portrait film so i i thought it turned out really really good these next photos are actually of jack harlow's set which was a little bit intimidating for me to shoot it did there was a lot of daylight out so portrait 160 i didn't feel too held back by that but i also was like in the barricade of the photo pit and shooting up at him so i wasn't sure if the contrast of like the super bright sky with like the black stage was gonna work with the photos but they actually turned out really decent as you guys can see um, I actually used the zoom on a couple of these, which I've never used on a point and shoot camera, especially the stylus. So that turned out really good. And it was, uh, I wanted to just use a new camera and try out like new techniques. And this is probably my favorite one with the fire behind him. Um, the timing on that was really weird because the timing between pushing the shutter button and the actual fire going off, I had to be really particular because the shutter felt like a half a second delay. So I would like focus and then I would anticipate the flames going off and then I would have to shoot the photo. So that anticipation, I didn't know if any of these would turn out. You can tell on some of them, like the fires in the background, but it didn't actually turn out like exactly how I wanted it to. Um, but these were just some photos of Jack Harlow at his performance, really good performance. If you guys have not seen Jack Harlow live, you should, it was a, it was a really, really good time. These are actually photos backstage. They're special to me in a few different ways, but one of the main reasons is when I was on tour, uh, we would give each other like gold stars. We had like a gold star chart um, and those gold stars meant you did something good, but Jake only got frowny stars. I only got frowny faces. So every time I would do something good or really like sarcastically bad, they would give me a frowny face. Um, and so when my accident happened, a couple of the band members, not band members, a couple of the crew members actually got a frowny face tattooed on them. Um, so this was me actually getting my gold stars on my tour pass and my uh, go-kart because I love driving around the go-karts um, at the venues. So I finally got my gold stars after a year of waiting for them. Uh, next up is this photo of Outside Land's stage. It was really cool. They had like the Bay Bridge behind the stage. It looked kind of like it was actually there, but it wasn't. So this was just cool. I thought that was pretty symmetrical and just made sense to take a photo of. This was backstage, some of the crew backstage. I think they actually picked up my camera and took this photo. I don't remember taking this one. Here is Billy getting ready for the show. Um, this is him and his mother. I really love this photo. I saw them interacting and uh, I just had to flash that, put that flash off and get a quick photo. I'm really, really impressed with how well this, the camera actually hit focus. I really recommend this camera after using this, this thing all weekend. And, uh, it definitely is a tank of a camera. And if you guys are looking for like a solid point and shoot that you can fit in your pocket and not have to worry about at all, this is a great, this is a great option. This is a photo of Mike Dirt. He, this guy is a legend. He's fucking incredible. He's been so great to me through uh, my accident and everything. And every time he sees me in the barricade, he always like makes sure to like say what's up or like make eye contact and take a photo. So this was him seeing me in the barricade and he dropped down and got this photo. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I, I can't believe the camera was able to uh, hit focus so well. And like, especially in low light with Portrait 160 in there pretty intimidating this is one of the security guards it's actually Mike's security guard um so this is one of the band members it's actually the music director and his kid backstage this was actually in between some songs where he's not on stage so him and his kid were backstage talking and I was like hey you two to get together for a photo flash uh, flash on 
and just nailed it. And again, really impressed with the focus that these hit. This is a photo that says Jake's home in case or Jake's case in home. Um, and this, I put this on one of the cases during the Hell Omega tour and it has been there all the way through, even though it's starting to deteriorate. Uh, my friend Mark has had it on his case the entire time. A tour case is what like goes from venue to venue with all the like guitar techs stuff inside of it so they can fix stuff on stage. This is a photo of Greg. This is uh, Green Day's main photographer. He's a really, really good dude. And it's always fun to like take photos of other photographers because I feel like they don't get photos of themselves ever. So it's really nice to kind of like be able to grab that photo for them and be like, hey, got a photo of you finally. Like, here's what you do. You're a photographer. So this is a photo of Trey Cool. Trey is the drummer for Green Day and he is actually an incredible, credible human. He uh, he came up to me before the show and he's like, stoked to have you here. He like talked to me for a minute and then he was like, yo, get a photo like this. So he put his fist out and uh, this is the photo that it snapped and it got it. It nailed focus. It's my arm is out of focus. It got his face. I was really worried that it was going to get his my arm out of focus and then his face blurry, but the camera nailed it. As you can see, it was like pitch black. So the flash literally picked up just us and it hit focus, which is pretty mind blowing. If you guys know anything about low light photography, sometimes even with like modern cameras, DSLRs, it's really hard to hit focus. Here's a photo of Stephanie backstage. This was our first time going to a festival. So I had to get a couple photos of her backstage at the show. And, uh, and yeah, that's that rule of film. As I said, it was one roll, uh, one contact sheet worth of photos, which is like 36 exposures shot on Portra 160 with the uh, Olympus Stylus Zoom. So if you guys are looking for a point and shoot camera, it's a great camera. I think it's pretty affordable. They around 150 bucks. You could probably find one online. And um, if you're looking to get into film photography, it's a great starter camera. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I really enjoyed shooting these photos and I enjoyed making this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the views on this channel have been incredible. So thank you for everyone supporting the channel, uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, the whole thing. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it very, very much. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and later.